Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Pisces for the week of January 2nd, 2023. Hello, my fishies. And this evening or this morning, I will be doing the TikTok. So be sure to check out your TikTok daily horoscopes. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate your love energy. And then after this, we'll get back to our normal scheduled program. So I should have videos up Thursday and Friday night. So stay tuned for those and be subscribed so you know when the weekly horoscopes are up. The monthly horoscopes are up as well at the end of this video I will be posting a link to that so you can click on that and watch Pisces video Venus is now in Aquarius and then we have the full moon on Friday we could feel this energy three days before and three days af after so Pisces you have a kite energy happening with the south node in the 12th 7th and 3rd house this is a good time to take care of unfinished business like dealing with banks government agencies licensing or even taking care of certain debts that you've been putting off, or if your license expired, you need to take care of that, or else you're gonna have Popo following you like crazy. This can be a great time for growth with media or social media or online business. You can also find yourself making friends with people at work that you normally don't get along with. I would be careful with that because the South Node is in the ninth house. So what's gonna happen there that eventually you're gonna have a falling a nasty falling out with those friends because you need you have lessons with the friends friendships and needing to be a bit pickier with the friends. This is a good time for meditation and reflection. You're more about, you're able to concentrate and not lose focus. You may come to an understanding of your true purpose. You can have a chance to make an ideal real. There is a lack of confusion and greater certainty. Others will look to you for leadership more than usual. You project confidence and success. Um, the beginning of the month, I feel it's it looks great with this energy, despite the retrograde planets happening at this time with arrows in there um, at 23 degrees so this is a time where you're going to be focusing on your personal responsibilities getting your finances more organized at this time maybe looking through your finances or through your bank accounts and getting rid of apps being more resourceful with your money also using this time period to work on yourself so for a lot of you you could find yourself going back to the gym and you know going back on your healthy diets and stuff like that you know and doing your protein shakes and stuff like that you know and just really being about like not necessarily your new year's resolution but you just you're more about your willpower and letting go of habits and things that control you at this time so you're not allowing things things like caffeine to control you with this energy okay Tuesday um, in the 12th house at this time there could be some trust issues with certain people in your life you could try to be a bit more strategic about what you get caught um, about how, how to get away with certain things at this time um, you could get caught up in um, in something at this time so I would be careful with anything like like um, not not legal okay with this energy I feel also don't be so quick to say yes to people at this time and you're not so quick to trust people as well for others of you um, not your circus not your monkey not your drama and you're not so quick to get involved or invest it in other people's problems. You know, you want to help them um, find solutions. You may even tell them, um, you know, what to do at this time or that your last resort. But at the same time, you're not trying to be anybody's lifeline. You know, you're not trying to, you know, have people take advantage of you anymore or use you, you know, or be like, you know, you're not trying to be around also codependent relationships relationships at this time you're definitely more aware about how much you do for others because you don't want to do so much for others anymore you're trying to do your own thing at this time and so you're trying to do as little as possible you can also be more protective of your time energy and money um, this can be the start of a love affair so keep it secrets keep it safe all right so just talk to the person you know get to know them you know date at this time um, this could be a start of a relationship that others wouldn't approve of uh, for some of you, this is a beautiful time for getting exactly what you want or a potential new love relationship can come in, even though the two of you can be just talking and getting to know each other. But I feel like with Juno 
well. And this could be like people that you were crushing on last year. And then with Juno coming into Jupiter in the second house, I feel like this will escalate into something a little bit more seriously, okay? Venus in Aquarius is also forming an air trine in the 4th, 8th, and 12th house. This could be dealing with a move, a beautiful time for renovating the home, thoughts to become things. You tend to be about bigger picture. You can be in hermit mode and choosing to stay more to yourself. It can be a difficult time for others to get you out of the house unless they made plans like three weeks ago, then you'll probably do it, or a month ago, then you'll probably do it. But if it's like coming up like now, you're gonna be like, hell no, I ain't going out. Okay, this can be a great time for business picking up, dealing with property matters, buying or selling a house with this energy, or even handling responsibilities of other people's financial affairs. And you can be trusted in taking care of like an older parent or other people's money situation as well and, and paying their bills for them and stuff like that. For others of you, this could be opening up a joint account with your partner or even being in control of the finances um then i think i lost track okay nope then on thursday some of you at this time this is a beautiful energy time you can see sparks and miracles happening this could be finally seeing doors open for you when it comes to career and money could be getting better as well this could be your hard work and perseverance paying off so you could see um a lot of blessings happening on thursday before the full moon um, kicks in. I feel like for some of you, this could be old jobs calling you back at this time, or if you applied for jobs, they could be calling you back at this time with this energy. So if you do go after them, it's just a temporary thing. This could also be a popular energy time for you, a great time for job interviews. A lot of people in your life can be more in a place of yes with you when it comes to what you want. So it's an easier time of getting your way with situations um, in your life. This could be a great time for just kind of like going more with the flow with this energy you can feel more connected to your purpose driven journey then the full moon in cancer at this time in the 11th half not in the 11th house you have volcanus um, quintiling at this time the ascendant and is trans um, is transiting you can be feeling a connection with spiritual connection or a psychic connection with a group or a person in your life you could be at the right place at the right time at this time um, this can also be um, you could be helping somebody with this energy or for others of you you could be saying the right things at this time to somebody to really help them change their perspective or to help them move on from a situation your outlook on their situation or you you can have a better a different outlook on their situation so this is a positive time for communications also this brings about healing energy you have a stellum in the sixth house so this can be um, doctor visits dealing with health issues at this time you could find love at work you could find love like having your doctor's appointment or something or this could be meeting the one or a love interest at a gym or while running errands you could find love or an event or even at work. You love being in service to others. A great time for those of you in healthcare. You have the opportunity now to make your office routine more efficient and exciting. You may have a chance to move your work out into the field, um, therefore avoiding a dull routine on Friday. There is more traveling in association with employment. Watch for problems with your digestive tract and stomach. Coworkers may not be giving you enough personal space. They could be all up in your Kool-Aid, wanting to know the flavor and stuff like that. Saturday Saturday, minor disagreements take on a life of their own so count to 10 at this time it is not worth it and it could be you could be embroiled in power struggles that are unproductive and frustrating at this time as well so you need to remember that this tension will only last a day and winning the battle is not always worth the fallout exercise more restraint at this time count to 10 or even count to 30 you can be relying more on your intuition and calling a situation before it happens you can feel a connection with other people like we're all one soul kind of situation and you could feel sometimes you know you could really feel that connection of like we are all one soul so meaning like maybe we are all like the soul circle that you're going to meet or the group that you're going to meet it's like they're all going through the same thing they're all having the same problems or you may notice like y'all are like Pisces or y'all like cancers or something like that so it's like you guys understand each other on an empathetic level or you just feel like this spiritual connection with um, certain people at this time with this energy okay your popularity increases despite 
high energies. This can be a new love, or you can have a fun time getting your flirt on. You have a lot of influence over other people. Um, just don't lead other people on and giving them false hope and making them think that something is there when it's not there, especially when it comes to flirting. Cause you know, we fishes, we're like, we're like Texas flirts. I mean, it's like, it's hard. When we flirt, we flirt hard. We don't play with that, you know? And it's like, yeah, we do play with that, you know? But sometimes people think like there's like more there and we're like, dude, it's just flirting. Duh. You know, and it's like, I know there's nothing here, you know, so, you know, be easy with the flirting, you know, because it could be like hard and it could be like good and juicy, but you're not there. You're just like, I was just flirting for the sake of flirting and not even knowing that. So, you know, like be self-aware about like what you do on Saturday. The first card I come up with is the Page of Swords. Listen to your own wisdom and advice at this time. Ooh, do I have to be careful with my flirting on Saturday? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Moon card, I feel for some of you here that this could be you seeing what you want to see at this time. So really listen to your own advice that you would give other people at this time. So this could be like new love coming in and it's Mercury in retrograde and we know what time it is. So just talk to the person, you know, and realize that the person in your head is not the person in your reality or don't read too much into what people are doing or not doing at this time because it could be like just coincidence okay um i do feel like somebody is spying on you or you guys you could be spying on your crush and your crush could be spying on you we're all spying on each other at this time so yeah that could be happening that could be fun but that could change too also, so somebody could stop spying on somebody and finally be like, F it, I'm just going to go talk to this person and see what happens, you know? So, yeah, so that could be happening as well. So this person might have a, might have like an F it moment and just be like, I'm just going to go talk to this person. So the spying, the crushing may be over. Yes. Okay. The chariot card and there will be a victory. Yes. So this is going to be a great time for talking to that crush this week. And why not? Mercury is in retrograde. You know, it can't hurt. We're comes to words you talk to the person they don't like you and then you know what we'll all forget that it ever happened until next mercury retrograde when we try again <laughs> you sure <laughs> so this could be a victory for some of you, you could be getting a much needed confidence boost at this time when it comes to career so this could be a beautiful time with career with this energy you could be hitting certain milestones at this time this is a beautiful time for creating your own reality at this time promotion earning more money business picking up at this time as well so this is a beautiful energy time for that getting a job this week that pays really well um the ten of cups your perspective and outlook on life is going to be changing for others of you you could be spending more time with family at this time for others of you of you your opinion about somebody could be changing the five of coins have faith that everything is going to work itself out at this time or delve into spirituality my nine of cups my yes card to whatever question i did not answer is yes i feel like for some of you here that the, you could be settling down into your new normal during this time period as well with this energy and kind of getting more into a routine or creating more of a routine for yourself as well again you could be more health conscious Ooh, this could be the end of money troubles and getting your money situation a little bit more like you know like under control at this time with this energy so we can actually see growth with money and this could be a great time for finances for some of you you benefit through the women in your life at this time with this energy for some of you, you could be living with mother at this time or you could be taking care of mother with this energy or mother could be very supportive of any decisions that you make at this time and just kind of like helping you and guiding you through your situation as well for some of you you lack foundation and security so this could be you creating that security with this energy for others of you i feel like you could be more invested in like your play at this time and self-care with this energy and just being more about your inner child. I feel for others of you, life experience gives you the upper hand at this time. So for some of you, you could be starting all over in your life 
again okay and this time around you know how how to go about things i think that you're a bit more secure and a bit more responsible this time around that you know how to deal with certain situations i feel also for some of you this good time to communicate with your ancestors your spiritual communications here light those candles for those who have passed because they're listening to you at this time so this would be a beautiful time to send them messages help ask for help in whatever you need help with at this time because they could be helping you i feel for some of you the focus could be on health for others of you this could be taking um this could be dealing with car repairs at this time or taking care of home repairs with this energy as well you know we have a we had a flood in ohio so this could be like a lot of you in ohio hey taking care of your car and taking care of like the flooding that's happened around your house god forbid um with these energies or with the snow so that kind of thing um, can be happening for you this week as well. The Three of Cups talks about communications with family, with this energy as well, or people being more invest, or you more invested in your relationships, maybe cultivating your relationships at this time. The Two of Swords, I feel like somebody could have a crush on you. Something that you've been wanting for a very long time is finally going to come to fruition. Um, does not necessarily have to be a crush. It could be actually something that you've always wanted to do happening, because that's happened to me, okay? The Ten of Swords, I feel like you could be starting over in certain areas of life. You can be doing, you like being on your own, and you prefer to be by yourself during this time period for some of you. Like, you're like, I am... I am copacetic, just being by myself and just doing me boo-boo all day long, okay? I feel that for some of you, you're very logical at this time, very analytical um, with this energy as well. So this is going to make you, help you um, make better decisions this week as well. The Six of Coins, I feel for some of you, you're not so quick to give. You could be a bit strategic about it. You can be a peacemaker in your life. And for some of you, you can be helping those who are really in need at this time. The Emperor card, this is business picking up. For some of you, you could be more in control of your situation. For others of you, you're not so quick to make decisions at this time. So you're very, you know, you're very strategic or you're very analytical in your way of thinking or you're really weighing the pros and cons of a situation. The Justice card, major decisions are coming up for you at this time. Again, you know, you could be at a crossroads in your life. So you're not so quick to say yes or no about a situation. So you could be mulling over something in your mind. For some of you, you can be dealing with core at this time, but there could be some victories or good news in regards to core. The Eight of Swords, you could be really going through it emotionally at this time. This could be obsessive thinking with this energy, Try ha having a difficult time letting go of a situation, having a difficult time letting go of the crush and trying to get the, th trying to get the damn crush out of your damn head with this energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with the justice system this week. This could be justice being served. We'll put the good energy out there for that. Um, this week for some of you as well. The King of Swords, very analytical in your way of thinking. I feel like for some of you, you could have some words of wisdom to share with other people around you at this time. Um, for some of you, you can be a bit of a born mystic with this energy. This is a great time for those of you with government jobs this week. The Six of Cups, you can be sentimental about the past. For some of you, you can be revisiting the past during this time period. The Two of Cups, ooh, you could be reconnecting. See all these cup cards with the Two of Cups? That means that like you really have like this strong connection with somebody. But for some of you, you're not doing anything about it and you're just like sitting on your hands about it instead of reaching out. But I do feel like eventually one of these days <laughs> it's going to happen and you're going to be like, screw it, I'm going to re reach out to this person and see what happens you know, and talk to them. The devil card, divorce endings. I feel like be careful of tantrums and tiaras. So that's Saturday. Tantrums and tiaras are on Saturday, everybody. So make sure you throw your tan you throw your tantrum then. So I do see tantrums happening. Not the best time of making impulsive decisions. Cock those damn brains before you shoot that mouth off because you may regret what you say to the person that you're mad at on Saturday. Okay. So be sensitive and be sweet and be kind. Okay worst comes to worst count to 10 i feel for some of you this could be fighting about joint investments joint bank accounts at this time with this energy so for some of you, you could be fighting over money keep your receipts i do see a crush 
returning or past love returning. I do see you creating memories with this person. For some of you, this could be a spiritual love. Aw. For some of you, this could be a perfect love. Aw. Gosh, this is so sweet. I love listening to all this good stuff. The Eight of Coins. You're more about your stability, your financial stability. In the words of the great disciple Oprah Winfrey, let your wounds be your wisdom at this time because the Eights also teach us about things that we need to learn and to maybe not to be so aggressive and maybe to be more empathetic at this time to other people, okay? So just be careful with your temper with this energy because I think that some of you, especially my men, have a little bit of a temper going on. Just a little bit, un poquito, nothing too big, you know? Just a little temper, just enough to scare everybody and go into like that it mode and then we run away from the clown screaming, going, ah, all right? So I'm not going to run too far because I have a plate in my ankles. So it's going to be like, ah, and then fetal position. Anyways, this is a great time for delving into your hobbies, visiting Hobby Lobby, um, and dealing with creative crafts at this time with this energy as well. And just getting, you know, your artistic, um, your art on at this time. For some of you, this could be an emotionally confusing time for you. Okay, and especially with love and what to do with love, you know, so I feel like eventually you're going to be like, whatever, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. So we're not too worried about that. I do feel like this is going to be a transformative time for you as I lose my voice. Um, so there is change happening for you this week with this energy the seven of swords you're leaving a toxic relationship for some of you you're working on yourself during this time period as well with this energy the um ten of wands i feel like you could be taking on other people's responsibilities because you need to learn how to create stronger boundaries and also you need to learn to say that dirty word no I feel for others of you that you are invested in other people's drama at this time with this energy. And you could be bitching and complaining about it. So this could be a situation where you end up watching somebody's kids at this time. And you're going to be really bitching and complaining about it. So I would be really happy. I'd be really happy. Ooh, okay. All right. I don't know where I'm going. So I feel also with this energy here, I do see, you know, for some of you, somebody's going to, there is a love around the corner for you. There is love around you. And I do feel like, you know, you two are going to take care of each other. You two could be like a power couple, okay? And you two could like help each other grow with this energy. The, for some of you, this could be a really fun time being single and mingling. Despite the energies, you know, it can happen. I would just talk. I would literally be more open to talking because I I hate doing things on Mercury Retrograde. Oh, I do. But it happens. You know, I would just talk. If it was me and somebody uh, talked to me, I would I would talk. I would let them know what time it is. I'd be like, look, the moons are out of whack. I'm not trying anything till after, like, let me see, after the tw after the, like the 28th or the 29th, okay? And then I'll t and then we'll date like officially, or we'll date. We could date, go for coffee or something, and date and chill, and you know, and then see what see how you feel about me after Mercury is retrograde. <laughs> That's what I would do. I see a purging happening. So certain things may no longer apply in your life during this time period. Didn't we have the Empress card in here? I don't see her. I do feel like certain decisions are going to impact a lot of people around you, not just you and another person. So you could be leaving a group or organization, or you could be ending a relationship at this time with this energy. And I feel like a lot of people, family members are going to be affected by the decision that you're making at this time. I love you, my fishies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And also, be sure to check out my TikTok as well for daily horoscopes. Kisses.